everyone. I thought I would come on because I have been asked to do a tutorial on my advent calendar. Um, I have sorted some of it. It just, just takes so long um, to prepare it all. But it's worth it in the end. Um, I've chose to do it in this beautiful reindeer paper this time um, and you're going to need two 12 by 12s because you're going to need to um, double them up like that um, you will also need two pieces of chipboard or in my case I don't really use chipboard I have so many boxes I just um, cut them into size um, and they are 11 by eight and a half on this side and you're gonna need two and then for the middle bit um, you're gonna need a piece that is 11 by two and then that's that and then for the boxes, I've already cut all mine, but I will read. I will do one on camera to show you. But you will also need to have twenty-four pieces of paper that are six by six. Don't look at this. I will. Um, I will show you how to do this in a minute. But you need twenty-four of these. And that's the base. And then you are going to need 24 of 4 and 1 eighths by 4 and 1 eighths. And this will be the lid. So again, you will need to have 24 of them. And this is why it takes so long because you have to score them and cut them. But if you're, if you're quick, like I was on the first one, I did it quite quickly, but... This one I've been a bit slow doing it. Um, so the first thing we are going to do is do the binding. Um, I really hope you can see because it's really, I'm using my phone so it makes it really difficult to do this. Yeah, I'll move that there. Okay, so firstly what we want to do is use a really thin tape. So I have my thin tape. And then you want to oh you can't see. Do you know I'll do it this side because then I can show you and I'll just put it on this side. So you just want to make sure that it's as close to that oh god yeah i'm saying close to the edge as possible i'm like mine's failing miserably <laughs> right. right okay so then you want to get hold of your bone folder and just make sure that all the air bubbles are out because you don't want it to fall off halfway through and then you want to stick this bit you need to stick that as close just so it covers the tape, the tape really. You don't want it too far in, otherwise you won't have enough room to um, put on. So I'm gonna do that, and I will be back. Right. I hope you can <laughs> see it a lot better now. I've had to change the way I've angled it. Um, so now you make sure you've got it the right way up, and you turn it over, and then. You need to put tape 
or you can use glue i'm going to use both just to make sure that it's stuck down properly um this piece needs to go down this spine here so you want it roughly like an inch on either side so that it sticks and i am going to do that bit i am really sorry about my camera i am generally using my phone and the stand i'm using is a phone stand and it's n honestly not the greatest for big projects like this when you're recording but you just go deal with what you've got really as long as you can see the main drift of it you know that makes me happy so <laughs> um i'm just gonna just go down with a bit of glue just to make sure i've got a bit of wiggle room for this don't want too much on it because i want it seeping out so then i'm just gonna try and make sure that is in the middle and i am eyeballing it i'm not honestly not into all that measuring and stuff the only thing i measure is all the paper and then just get hard on this and just turn it over and just make sure all that tape and glue is stuck down because you don't want any of it seeping out okay so then we are going to stick down the bigger bits and i will I will do that and then I will come back in a minute once the book's done. You should be able to see it all. I'm I'm hoping. Okay, I'll be back in a minute. Bye. And now, now I've done that, I literally just get the corner and I just simply make sure I get the edges up. So I'm just to make it easier. Making sure because this is gonna be very thin. And then I'll do the other side. Just to make sure to get the edges and then one more side. Come on. Okay. So you're gonna get the so then you wanna it's gonna be a bit difficult because these are really really thin, but what you wanna do is you wanna cut like an edge away like that so it's like that and i also learned a trick so if you cut the paper like i've done it i need to cut a bit more but if you cut it wrong and you've got it showing if you stick your corner edge that you cut off into that space and just glue it down when you glue it you're not going to see that showing and it doesn't really matter because you're not going to see this anyway and i le i learned that i think it was from the posh paper lady um so i'm just going to cut a bit more there we go and then you want to do all four corners So as I was saying about the corner bit, I've actually done this a bit wrong. So when I fold it, you can see the gap. And I don't want that because otherwise it's not going to be neat. So if I put that, glue that in there, and then put that round, you still get that really nice edge, but you can't see the chipboard. 
that you're using. Okay, so I'm now going to tape all this up and glue it. And then what all you need to do is stick tape all along here, your edges, along here, along here. I am going to cut these sides down because they are a bit long. And then I will glue them all down and then I will be back. See you in a minute. Right, I have got all that stuck down and now you just want to make sure that your book is going to sit into a book. No, that is our book. We're just going to colour the inside and for the inside you will need... Okay, so you are going to need a piece that is four this way by 11 and two pieces that are eight by 11 and they are going to go on here so then you want the four in the middle of the spine and then these two are going to go on either side um, I don't want to make the video really long, so I'm going to pause the video there and I will be back once I've stuck this down. So I have mine all stuck down now, so I'm literally just making sure that that glue is done perfectly. And then we need to find where our score lines are because you don't and then we want to lift it but you don't want to lift it if it's not ready to lift because if you see it starts to come off might need to add a bit more glue I'll add the glue in a minute and then when I find the other side I am really sorry guys I don't normally do tutorials so this is literally my very first tutorial I've done so please bear with me okay and that is our book all done so now we'll literally move on to our boxes. <laughs> 